This is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using Excel VBA to zoom on a selected range. So I have in this worksheet in Excel random numbers between 0 and 100 and I created these with the ran between function. I also have this green rectangle. If I right click and move down to assign macro we can see that it's associated with a subroutine named OpenForm. So if I move over to the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, you can see I have this user form named main, and this one subroutine in the code for sheet 5, which is the data sheet, sub open form main dot show. So main is the name of the user form, and then dot show, that opens this user form. So if I move back to the worksheet and click on the rectangle I have this user form main and it has two command buttons on it one with the caption zoom and another with the caption reset so I'm going to place some code in this user form that allows us to zoom in on whatever the selected range is and then reset to the view I have here now the zoom level I have right now is 180 percent. So moving back to the Visual Basic Editor and starting with this user form. For these command buttons I just placed these on here using the toolbox and dragging over command button onto the user form, resizing it, changing the back color and the properties here to the left, the four color the font and the caption. So I'm going to double click on the user form and you can see it brings up the code behind it and I'm just going to delete the user form click that comes up by default. And In order to have this function the way I want with zooming in on the selected range and resetting I'm going to use four subroutines. Three are fairly small and one is a little bit more involved. So I'll go ahead and start with that one, and that is sub zoom on selection. All right, so this is the longest of the subroutines I'll be putting in here. You have zoom on selection, and this has two arguments. By value selected range as range, and by value R as Boolean. So it's either true or false. I'm going to declare W as a window, then set W to equal the active window. Then I'm going to use the application go to method. So application go to, and in this case will be selected range, one comma one, and then true. So there's two arguments here, uh, reference and scroll. Then I have a with statement, so with, and then down here end with, with selected range, an argument passed to the subroutine. If r is equal to true, the resize is going to use the number of rows in that selected range. And then column is set to 1. If r is false, you'll move down here to the else statement, and it's going to use 1 for the rows and the number of columns in this resize. And I'll show you how that looks on the worksheet. Then we have the end if and of course the end with. Then we have this w is the active window, so w.zoom equals true and w.visible range one comma one dot select. And that's a subroutine that we're going to call from the first command button, the one here in the user form with the caption zoom. But before I get to that, I want to add another subroutine that resets the zoom. This one just has one line of code. So sub reset zoom and active window dot zoom equals 180. And going back to the worksheet, remember the zoom I have set here is 180%. So it's going to reset this back to the way I have it now. So now I can move in and put code behind command button 1, which is zoom, 
and Command Button 2, which is Reset. So I'm going to go to Command Button 1, double click, and in this subroutine, I'm going to paste in the code. And we have four lines of code for this subroutine, declaring range as range, RNG, setting RNG to equal selection, so the range that's selected by the user, and then calling zoom on selection, which is the first subroutine I pasted in here. Again, it has two arguments, selected range and R, and I have those specified here. Selected range equals range, the selection, and R equals true. So with R equals true, it's going to be using the number of rows in the resize, number of rows that are selected. And then we have the line of code unload me, and this unloads the user form. Although this line of code isn't necessary for this to function, it is convenient because it saves the user a step. The user doesn't have to close the user form. The user form will close by itself. And then we have one more subroutine. And this one has just two lines of code. I'm going to go up to the reset button, double click that, and then paste in those two lines. Call reset zoom. So setting the active window dot zoom to 180 and then closing the user form using the unload me code. So these four subroutines are all we need for this to work. I'm going to move back to the worksheet and I'm going to be running this code of course through the user form that I built. But if this was being built for a user it would probably be more convenient to have a shortcut, a shortcut key, instead of opening this user form and then hitting one of the buttons. Even though the user form closes itself, the user has to get up to the top left each time to open this user form. So a shortcut key may be a little more convenient for this particular purpose for a set of subroutines that allows us to select a range and zoom into it. So with these random numbers, I'm going to select a range here on the worksheet. And this particular range goes from F5 down to H13. It has three columns. Click the green rectangle, press zoom. Of course, that's going to close the user form and then zoom in to the range that I selected on the worksheet. And to reset this, of course, I have to go all the way back to the top left, I mentioned that earlier, and click this green rectangle, click reset. So to demonstrate how that resize method works, moving back to the code, we can see it here. If R equals true, resize uses the number of rows, otherwise the number of columns. So of course now it's set to true. So moving back to the worksheet, so I'm going to select from cell C5 through J9. So that's five rows and eight columns. I go to zoom in. You can see that we have seven rows that are fully visible and row 12 here is mostly visible and only four columns. So I move back to the code and I change zoom on selection the value for R from true to false. So now I'm going to be using this method with the columns.count. Move back to the worksheet and I'll reset this. And I'm going to select the same range C5 through J9 and zoom. And now you can see all eight columns are visible and of course the five rows are visible. I hope you found this video on using Excel VBA to zoom in on a selected range to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.